So, which leads me to my next question. Uh, the project you have, you and Brad have started, uh, unfortunately, it seems like Brad's having some technology issues here. It happens. Um, uh, you, you guys have started a Kickstarter, and yep. it's going to be a documentary of, of your story. Yeah, that's it, in essence. And um, I mean, there's a lot of ways we could go with this, Dave, and that's one of the reasons why I was excited when um, Brad and his mother approached me about doing the documentary, because to me, the, at the, the heart of this story is the heart. I don't think that you can get this kind of message out and change people's minds unless you can affect their emotions. And seeing some of the work that Brad had done, uh, he's got that ability, you know. And and that doesn't it it first has to be in him. And of course, I've met both him and his mom, and I've worked with them, and and it's there. I think that they are the best team to tell this story the way it needs to be told. Yeah, I, I I agree, and I mean, and your and your style, your story is very, very. Like I said before, it's very powerful. It's very emotional. Um, I mean, I I I've saw a lot of people wiping tears from their eyes hearing your story. I mean, I I just couldn't imagine. Uh, I I think a a lot of people. I think I mean, every, everybody's seen you know the signs, God hates fags and and stuff, and and knows that uh, the Westboro Baptist Church protests military funerals and, and all sorts of different things but I think a lot of people really have have no knowledge of of how uh, how much this affects that that family and and really how all of these issues come together it's not just about their public demonstrations and things but there's so much control um, or at least when Fred was still alive and, and how that worked um, I remember uh, Nate when you spoke at uh, the University of Missouri when I first met you and you told yeah. us about the the very strict routines that you had to follow every day and like the training that you did you know for marathons as, as children and uh, the the restrictive diets and so on it really I mean it wasn't just about the the message of, of God hates facts there was it was a whole system of oppression uh, inside that church and I mean it's a it's a lot more going on than I had any idea about and and one of the one of the most significant pieces of that, as far as the effect it has on humans, is we, we, when you grow up in an environment where your your thoughts, um, that whole process of you know testing your ideas in your mind, is tamped down, is not tolerated. Your opinion is invalid because it's your opinion. Um, you know that. That affects your ability as you go out into the world as an adult. Also, you don't, you you have to look for permission. You feel like even after the, it's kind of like you know once you chain an elephant for a while, then you can take the chain off and they they'll still behave as though it's there, right? Mm -hmm. So, it affects your ability to just function uh, fundamentally as as in the world as an adult. 